It is rare to see an auditorium full of people for a training camp press conference, but it highlights the impact that KJ Wright made during his tenure in Seattle. Hello 12s, I'm Jen Mueller with your Seahawks Daily and you could see the emotions bubbling to the surface before KJ started speaking and there was no holding them back as he announced the end of his professional career. I'm so thankful that I laid it all on the football field and um, y'all truly a blessing in my life. And so um, I'm here to announce that um, after 11 fantastic seasons that I'm retiring from the NFL. Family, friends, teammates, coaches, past and present, and members of the organization cheered a career that spanned 11 seasons. Ten of those in Seattle, where he made the Pro Bowl and won the Super Bowl. I gave this game every ounce I had in my body. I gave it my heart and my soul. I put my body on the line. I made sacrifices in my personal life. It's safe to say I'm on empty right now. This game has taught me lessons that I will carry on with me for the rest of my life and instill in my children. This is game has helped me come out of my shell. It's taught me how to persevere when things get hard. I learned to communicate better with people. It taught me the power of teamwork and the most valuable lesson it taught me is a model that I live by and this hard work always pays off. Just, you know, from where he started out and all that, but, but where, he, where he showed himself so early to be a such a factor, you know, in, in, in our team and, and uh, our mentality and the culture and all of that. And, uh, you know, he will always ha hold a special, a special place. From the beginning, the fourth round pick in 2011 set the standard. KJ racked up 934 total tackles in a Seahawks uniform, third most in franchise history. The Hawks made the playoffs eight times during his 10 years in Seattle, and he teamed with Bobby Wagner to create one of the best linebacking duos in football, leading one of the most dominating defenses in the Super Bowl era. I was, we was just balling. We was just balling and having fun. And then you just look back, it was like we did some really, really good stuff. We did some really good stuff. And um, I played with some legends, man, to, to Bobby. That man, he was my right-hand man through it all. Bobby was my right-hand man through it all, and um, to me, be able to play next to a Hall of Famer, and um, for him to always, KJ, how you doing, man? I see something wrong with you. How you doing? What's up? He meant so much to me in my career. For KJ, football was a vocation and a calling, but also a vehicle for helping others. The legacy I tried to leave was, man, first of all, just, just be a good person. Just, just like all these people are in this room for a reason. And um, I just want to treat everybody I came across with the utmost respect, the utmost love, and just make people feel good about themselves. Make people feel special, make people feel seen. Um, uplift my teammates. I had so many moments with my teammates where I saw that they were down on, down on themselves. And I'm like, hey man, I need you. This team needs you and you a special dude. Just taking time with people to pour life into them, to lift them up when they down. And in turn, they, they do the same for me. And so um, the football is football. The tackles, the, the interceptions, that's, 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 that's cool. But it's all about impacting people's lives and just, um, just being a special person. Just the way he carries himself. You know, obviously the football knowledge is there. Everybody knows what, the, what type of player he was, how smart he was as a football player. But I thought the biggest thing that I learned from him is just how you carry yourself as a leader, as a man, uh, as a husband, a friend, teammate, everything. He's a fantastic kid. And... Uh, been a, a remarkable leader and performer and all that, but he's even all, above all of that, he's a remarkable person. And, and I, I hope that we can always keep him close to the program. And I'm, I'm really glad that he's in the area and living here. And we have a bunch of guys that do live here. And uh, I'm, I'm glad that he's, he's kind of still in the fraternity of it all. So I, I hope we'll be able to do more work with KJ in the future. As for what's next for KJ, well, he's going to enjoy a fall without football for the first time in a long time. And don't be surprised if you see him at Lumen Field. He plans to take in a game or two, and he hopes to work with the organization sometime in the future in a capacity outside of coaching. In other training camp news, Jamal Adams did not practice with the team on Thursday. Pete Carroll said that he is seeking opinions on his surgically repaired hand. Jamal reporting that it just didn't feel right after day one.